Okay, welcome. So here we go. What I want to do for this problem is show you how to solve it by using the quadratic formula. So to solve this by using the quadratic formula, the first thing I need to do is I need to put it in quadratic form. And quadratic form is going to be n squared um, plus 2n minus 24 equals 0. So how did I do that? Well, to get this to set equal to 0, I went ahead and added the 2n to the other side. So now I have it in quadratic form. All right. So when I have a problem in quadratic form, the next thing I can do is write out the quadratic formula, which is opposite of b minus or plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now, what does the quadratic formula equal? The quadratic formula equals our values for n. And that's why we want to do it, because if you look at, I have an n on both sides. You can't just solve for it by getting n by itself. So you're going to have to use a different form. We could Sometimes we talk about using factoring, but sometimes the equations are not factorable. So what we have to do is use the quadratic formula. Now, where did I get this a, b, and c? Well, those come from the quadratic form of an equation. The quadratic form of an equation is a n squared plus b n plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are your coefficients of your variables and your and real numbers. So in this case, my b is going to be 2. So to keep on solving this, I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a, in this case, which is 1, times c, which is 24, negative 24, I'm sorry, all over 2 times uh, a, which is 1. OK, so now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit under the radical, right? So I have 2 squared, which is 4. Then I have negative 4 times negative, uh, negative 4 times uh, negative 24, which is going to be a negative 96. Well, neg um, I'm sorry, a positive 96. So therefore, I really have 4 plus 96, which is 100. So therefore, I have equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 100 divided by 2. Now, we should know that the square root of 100 is going to be 10. So negative 2 plus or minus 10 over 2. Now to evaluate this, I can just do negative 2 plus 10, which is going to give me 8. 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So I can say n, these all could equal n. So n equals 4, or negative 2 minus 10, which is a negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 2 is a negative 6. So therefore, I could say n equals 4 or negative 6. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve by using the quadratic formula. I hope you enjoyed.